Batmobile, the original car from the first movie with Michael Keaton. Uh, this is a Warner Brothers car on loan to OnStar for their uh, ad campaign and their commercials. And my name is Dave Reagan and I keep it running. It handles just like a Batmobile should. The machine guns in the movie that you saw come out of this panel here we really do have the machine guns still at the studios and they can be installed. Uh, all the hookup is here for them. Um, it uses a big uh, block Oldsmobile engine, a 400 cubic inch Oldsmobile engine. It drives just like a car. Uh, everything about it is just like a regular car. It has hydraulics that raise and lower. Uh, it can raise uh, up to eight inches, so we can get it onto platforms and inside of sound stages. Uh, on the inside of the car, I'll go around the other side. Uh, this was, again, Michael Keaton's car, so uh, it was kind of fitted for him. These are the, still the original seats and the original interior. Uh, the OnStar button is here on the dashboard. This is all pretty much cosmetic, all the gauges and everything. There's only a few gauges in here that work for the engine uh, that have things to do with the engine, oil pressure, water temp. This is where all the uh, special effects uh, were. It, it's not exactly in the pristine shape that it, it used to be, but the hot air balloon burner went inside of here and the uh, propane tank would go in the passenger seat of, in the car and, and this would throw a flame out about six feet. So when you see the Batmobile with the flame, it's actually a hot air balloon burner right inside of here. Uh, these are the fire extinguishing system it had inside. It was a Halon fire extinguishing system that evacuates all the oxygen out of the inside of the car in case there was a problem with the gas in here. Uh, so there's two tanks here. These here are the uh, operate the hydraulic uh, lid that the top opens and closes, and uh, that's about it. The hydraulics down here in the regular suspension area, and uh, that's pretty much the Batmobile. They they absolutely love it. If if we are here, if we were here for a show, you'd see people four and five deep to to see the Batmobile, and it doesn't. It's not just for kids. You know, grown-ups, uh, guys my age, because this car was built in 86, 1986, so it's been out for a while. So uh, there's a wide range of age group that, that really identify with it, and, and they love it.